Alright, so hello everyone. Today, we're going to learn more about how to design learning modules under the new normal. So we will discuss 13 important guidelines that your module should be able to do despite the absence of the physical presence of the teacher. After this video, we'll also be giving out a free learning module template and a learning material for you to read to improve your modules. So please don't forget to finish the video, subscribe, hit the like button, and share this video to other teachers so that we will be able to improve how we create our modules. So it was thoroughly discussed in our previous video that modules under this new normal should be able to be in the most part perform the basic tasks that a teacher performs in a face-to-face -face interaction. But what are the specific teacher tasks that a module should be able to carry out? Let us refer to Commonwealth of Learning 2015. According to this paper, modules should be able to number one, define what is to be learned. In the usual scenario, teachers usually describe and discuss the objective of each session. Without the physical presence of the teacher, the students should have a clear idea as to what they should accomplish within a specific module. Number 2. Provide information. The teacher does not only provide information on content and knowledge, but also provides instruction into the specific procedures of the lesson to help students accomplish the desired learning outcomes. In this case, as you design your modules, the module should be able to provide necessary information both about the needed content and the necessary instructions needed to accomplish the learning task. Number three, provide examples. A specific module should have enough examples for the students to have a good grasp of the concepts or the competencies that the learner has to accomplish. Number four, a module should be able to explain. Confusions, especially for our learners, is necessary for deepening of knowledge. However, the module should be able to foresee this and should be detailed enough to offer explanation for possible confusions in the lesson being delivered. Number five, ask questions. The module should contain questions, preferably in the higher order thinking level, to steer the student's imagination and curiosity regarding the lesson. Number six, set learning tasks. The teacher should provide a clear direction as to what the students should accomplish within the session. Number seven, marks works. So despite the physical absence of the teacher, a learning module should have the answer key and a scoring guide for learners to mark their work and know their current progress. Number eight, answers learning questions. Possible answers to learning questions should already be part of the learning module. At the end of the module, answers to these learning questions should be clear for the students. Number nine, check what the learners have learned. Through an assessment attached to the module, teachers could be aware of the learner's level of learning. Number 10, provides feedback. Through their scores from the assessment, the module should give learners an idea as to their level of performance. Number 11, provides other resources. This is very important. Engaging as many senses as possible is necessary for retaining the learning. CDs, USBs, pictures, and other resources that can reinforce learning should be attached to the module in the hope that learning will solidify in the module session. Number 12. Give study advice. Following students' capability to assess themselves and to give them an idea of their level of progress, a corresponding study advice should be available depending on the level of their scores. Number 13 helps with individual problems. Students are different from each other. As much as possible, modules should be designed to address the context of each learner. An important dimension in the distance learning, which is consistent communication between the teacher and the students, is vital in this part. Alright, so that's all for today. I hope you learned something about creating a better module. 
So in the video description, you will see there a link for you to fill in uh, in order for you to receive your free module template and some reading materials in order for you to improve your learning module. So good luck everyone and God bless.